Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some well, fun. Nick Collier here, and uh, you know, this is not in shop machine work or welding work, but uh, certainly one of the other things that I have to do on the property. Uh, turns out that this, uh, this old monster here, which you know, we put on Airbnb and do great with. Uh, it, uh, I, I'm going to walk in a little bit closer here. It, uh, oh, I don't know, a couple months back or so, it blew uh, a uh, alternator. And I'm like, ah, alternator. You know, I don't drive it that much, so it's not that big a deal. I just parked it and went, okay, I'll fix it some other time. So the other day I, uh, oh, I know, the electricity went out, and so I couldn't work in my shop. So I uh, thought, okay, I'll just go over there and pull the alternator and go get a new one and so on and so forth. And I climbed underneath and it wasn't the alternator at all. It was the fan belt was just shredded. I mean, shredded. And I'm thinking, well, how am I gonna get another fan belt? Cause I, I guess I know the year. And you know, these motorhomes there, they use a Dodge this and a Chevy that and a Chrysler this and a, you know, uh, all kinds of hodgepodge stuff so um and i wasn't even sure what kind of engine it was you know i you can find out eventually but uh it turned out that the one two inch st section of belt that was okay had the numbers on it so i went and got a new belt and this morning we're going to put it in for you okay so follow along we'll have some car fun so first thing we're going to do is remove the um, um vacationer uh outdoor hangout uh, implements so we can get into the uh, into the door here and come up with a bunch of tools and I don't exactly know what tools I'm going to use just yet but we're going to use some and uh, we'll go inside and see what we got all right, we got the tool we need, this big ass Allen wrench, and we're going to go inside and I'll take you on a little mini tour here of the RV. Uh, it's a nice little RV. I inherited it from my mom oh, a couple of two or three years ago. And uh, yeah, it's got a nice space, a little pop out. Very sweet. Drives like a tank and gets gas mileage like, you know, well, you can guess. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to take this this cowling off. And the way we take this cowling off, if I can get down there, is there's this little hole right there. And this Allen wrench goes in that hole and turns. And then the whole cowling just comes off. So uh, we'll get set up and pull the cowling off and let's see what the inside looks like. And of course every time I do this I can't remember what I did last time to take the thing apart. You know, because there's it's so long in between approaches. But I think it's just a half of a rotation. Yep, look at that. And the damn thing just kind of slides right off. Just like it was meant to do. This we will take back to the back side of the RV. And we got our new fan belt. But then the question is, is where does it go? And I can see the beginning of where it goes. And you know what, maybe we can put you back here. Well, actually I wanna be back there now that I'm looking at it. All right, there's an adjusting bolt there. No, that's the pivot bolt. And the adjusting bolt is probably right there. Yes, fairly easy to get to. It looks like about a 9 16 or a 5 8 And we might just be back in business. All right, let me go get a 5 8 and a 9 16 and see what we can do. Yeah, well, somebody tighten the shit out of it. Ah, gee, 
keys. Okay, we're loose. Now the other rat or the other bolt, I believe we can only get it from underneath. Well, lucky me, this whole side of the engine is wide open. You know, <laughs> that's probably why it's so dusty and dirty, but you can see the wrench right there. That's going to be a cinch to loosen up. All right, so we're going to use the uh, double wrench lock method because I know that sucker's tight. So we'll take one wrench and put it in locked the other wrench. And then we have twice as much leverage. And we can pull it down. Of course, it's not pulling down. Let me climb under and get a good grip. Mm. Well, I don't know, that wasn't too bad. And then that doesn't need to be loosened a lot. Maybe one more half a turn or something like that. Yep, that's plenty. All right, let's see if we can get that belt in. There we go. Get the belt around the fan blade. I don't know when working on a car has ever been so easy. Of course, I'm not done yet, but I mean, it's looking like I got all of the, uh, the uh, pulleys engaged with the belt. I'm now pulling the alternator back. It's tightened up on the belt a bit. All I need to do is get some kind of a bar and and uh, snug up on the alternator, tighten up on those two bolts, and we are done. Well, except probably the battery's dead and we need to uh, charge it up. But I'm gonna go get a, a breaker bar to, uh, to uh, pull that pulley back and we're well, ready I to go. I do wish this would be a little bit more visual for you, but God, there's so much stuff in the way and there's hardly any light and you know the whole shooting match but let's just see what we can do about All right, let's put the cowling back in place. Oh, I remember there was one little thing hanging out here. There we go. Okay, so uh, we're all set to go. Uh, let's see how it runs. Seems to be okay. Um, I'm seeing the alternator charging. We're all set to go. Well, that was an easy one, wasn't it? Man, <laughs> that never happens to me. I'm always going way over time to fix something or another uh, but you know hey it was a lucky day and uh, hey 
hang in there with me tell your friends about me we have fun here even though it's working on uh, RVs and Nick Collier checking out